oh, I'm too black. Why am I small? Why is the other one white? Why am I dark? Oh, because I'm dark, maybe I will not be able to illuminate better. Look at it. The other candle is from this company. It's from this brand, the biggest brand in this world. Oh, how can I compete? I'm so small. In today's video, I just want to share a few tips that has helped me, that keeps helping me <laughs> to overcome my self-doubt. So if this is a topic that you are interested in, if you want to know more, please keep watching this video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi of girl to mom and this channel is all about inspiring you to own your life, live up to your potentials and to be your best self. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you stay up to date on my video. And most importantly, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful and I'm sure you're even going to find it useful, okay? So just give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. So as I mentioned earlier, today I will be sharing tips that has helped me to overcome self-doubt. And very quickly, I want to highlight two things that I associate with self-doubt, okay? So the first thing is that self-doubt occurs in situations where there is a problem and you have the solution, but you do not trust your own ability to solve the problem. So you actually have the solution, but you just do not trust yourself to carry out the solution okay so that is the first um the first thing to highlight and then the second thing about self-doubt is that it's an abnormality okay it is not normal for you to doubt yourself every human being wants to brag okay every human being wants to talk about their potentials every, every human being wants to talk about the fact that they have a solution that is the normal um, scenario but when you doubt yourself just like the illustration that i gave earlier on what self-doubt looks like it's just you burning your candle and then using your hand to cover it okay it's not normal those are the two things i want to highlight before i go on with the video okay so the first thing i would say you should do to overcome um, self-doubt is to figure out what ignites that feeling okay at every time you doubt yourself figure out what ignites that feeling what makes you doubt yourself and move away from you know what triggers you as fast as you can okay because i believe that you know for every time you doubt yourself the reason is different, okay? And I'm going to give examples. The reason is different. It's not always the same thing that makes you doubt yourself. And if it's the same thing that is the same issue that you constantly battle with at every time you need to move forward, at any time you need to, you know, maximize your potentials, there's always this particular thing that, you know, makes you doubt yourself, then I believe that it's a broader mindset issue. It's a broader issue that you needs to be worked on. For example, every time you want to move forward and you doubt yourself, and maybe it's because of your past experience, a particular experience, then you need to seek help to overcome that um, issue. And let me share my own um, example so that I can explain the points better okay so um sometime last year towards the end of last year i was approached by a company that's the insights blog post if you're familiar with, if you're following me on instagram you will know that now i write for um the company i got this email and dm from them to asking me to be one of their guest writers on um their blog for their blog so immediately I saw the email and the DM, I was like, eh, no, 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 I'm not doing this. Like that was the first thing that came to my mind. And I was like, okay, let me just wait. Instantly I was like, no, I can't do this because I've never written anything, you know, that was shared online. Aside from my final year project, I've not written anything that was shared online on that large scale. So I was like, mm -mm, I've not done this before. I, no, I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't even think I'm capable of writing something worthy of posting on a blog post, on a, on a, on a website, you know? I just, I just had that fear, that doubt instantly. So I went to the website, I read the blog. Their focus is on family relationship and um, raising children and other issues that relates to, you know, um, family development and all that. So I was like, ah, I don't even have the experience. I'm just a young mom. I just have five years in experience in marriage. What am I going to write? What am I going to say? And then I went ahead and I looked at all the guest writers 
on their uh, on the, on the blog international writers and i just saw their profile i saw the, i read through their profile and i was like how am i going to compete with these people no 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 like i'm not even going to do this you know <laughs> so that's the first scenario yeah. so in this um, particular instance the second scenario where i work i was asked to come and do um what i do on a larger scale like speak to um like train um, a group of people who are more matured than the people that I speak to at the time. Okay, so I was asked to train these people, like people that do what I do, I was asked to train them now. So I was like, okay, this is speaking, this is my area of strength, I love to speak, I love to talk, I do this all the time. And you know, I was super excited. This one instantly, I didn't doubt myself. So I was super excited, I got the resources, I researched on the topic I wanted to talk about, I looked for a topic that is in my area of strength, I prepared everything. And I, you know, I asked who are the kind of people come, they say, okay, this people are specialized in this area, this, 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 and I was like, okay, I was just feeling ready. And the first day I walked into the environment when we were supposed to start, I saw the people there, the people I was supposed to speak to. You guys, they were more matured. They were way, 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 way older than me. I'll try to insert pictures <laughs> from that experience. They were way older than me. They were more matured. They had years of training they've been doing what i'm just doing and they've been doing it for years so it's not as if um and i felt so tiny in front of them and immediately it felt like ah no no i can't do this like immediately i doubted i just felt like i can't impact any form of new no like i can't impact i can't teach these people anything i can't train them on anything like i don't have any value to give them so i just felt that and i don't even know how i managed to um end that first um session that day and then you know so that was like the second scenario. In the second case, I doubted myself because of, you know, the scenario, <laughs> the, the situation I found myself, even though it was in my area of strength, okay? So in the first example, it wasn't in my area of strength. I'd never done it before. That was why I doubted myself. But in the second, um, the second um, scenario, it's not because I've not done it before. It was because I was just scared of the people that I was supposed to not talk to so that's so, why i said that you need to figure out exactly what is triggering that feeling for that particular situation that you are experiencing you know self-doubt and when you figure it out try to move away from what triggers that feeling so for my own situation i went to the website in the first case i went to the website i was searching i was saying and it was increasing my fear it was <laughs> expanding the fear so for my own situation i spoke to someone i told my husband that you know in these two cases that i can't do this like it's it's just like i can't do this you know and he told me that you know you've been writing You're, you just feel like you haven't been writing but you have been writing i was like don't you script your videos don't you align your points for you to speak you must have it written down whether mentally or um, on paper you know you have been doing it and so just go ahead and write it and it was like okay do it this first time write something this first time and send it to them if they don't like it or if you don't you're not comfortable with it then don't do it again right but it just encouraged me to do it as opposed to you know me going to the website searching looking at the people and increasing that fear you know because <laughs> so um that's why i said you know move away from whatever it is that triggers that feeling okay don't sit in that state of fear whatever it is that triggers you try to figure it out and try to move away from it so that you don't add fuel to the fire of self-doubt that is already burning inside you so the second thing I would say when it comes to overcoming self-doubt is to do it, okay? Do it and do it consistently. Be consistent. That is the key word here. Be consistent. So from the analogy I shared earlier, the short video, right? And you would see that so long, as long as that fire is burning inside the candle, as long as there's fire in that candle, you can cover it for a long time, okay? You can't even cover it for you. You can't cover it for more than one minute because it's going to burn you. The fire is going to burn you and you cannot keep up with that pain. No, no human being can keep up with that kind of pain. I mean, right? And it's because the fire is still burning. But when you put out that fire, when there's no fire in that candle, you can cover it for as long as you can. In fact, you, your hand will even feel warm. The, the, actually, if it's winter, <laughs> your hand will just be getting free warmth, right? That's to tell you that Whatever it is that you need to do, whatever area, whatever idea you have that you doubt your own abilities, do it. 
You don't have to start doing it publicly. You don't have to showcase it when you begin. That's why when companies want to influence you to buy things or to do things, they advertise, they consistently put it in your face because consistency brings courage. Consistency brings change. Consistency breeds trust. Okay, so continue to do it. Do it, build momentum, um, train yourself to overcome that feeling till you trust yourself, okay? So just do it and keep doing it. Just keep that fire inside you. Keep it on, okay? Don't put it out. So another keep tip that I will say, something that helps me out of that feeling of self-doubt is to speak to yourself in a tone that uplifts you, okay? Speak to yourself in a manner that brings life to you, in a way that brings confidence to you. Because I believe that affirmations are just mere words, they're just mere statements without the confidence that backs them up, that backs it up, if it's just one. <laughs> without the confidence that backs them up. So whenever I want to um, ignite that feeling of confidence, that is the same tone I use when I'm, you know, reading my affirmations, when I'm speaking the word of God into my life, when I'm speaking um, what, the, what the promises of God are for me, I say it out loud, you know, I'm the light of the world. Oh, ma, eh? You are the light. You are this candle, you know. You can't, <laughs> you can't, your fire cannot be put out, you know, and you cannot put your fire out. Just leave it there. Sometimes I even say like, ah, why are you, why are you covering your moonshine? What is wrong with you? You know, <laughs> you know, so I just talk to myself in that tone, in that vibe, and it brings confidence to me. And that's why I love to journal. That's why I love to write things down. Anytime I achieve something, however small or big, anytime I hit that milestone, I write it down in my journal and I'm excited about it. So whenever I just doubt myself, I doubt my own abilities to do certain things, and I go back to my journal and I read how I put down that excitement, it just tells me that you can do this like you can do this okay so speak to yourself in a tone in a manner in a language that you understand and that can bring confidence back to you so another thing i would say when it comes to overcoming your self-doubt is to take the focus away from yourself take the focus away from yourself and focus on the bigger picture the goal the overall aim what, what it is, the feeling that you would feel, the achievement that will come when you actually take that bold step to overcome your self-doubt, okay? In fact, let me pick the candle here. <laughs> okay, so just with that analogy now, um, this is a candle, right? And whenever we see a candle, we know that it's supposed to shine light. It's supposed to bring light. And if I put off this light, no, I don't want to get up. <laughs> if not, I would have put off the light. But if I put off this light and this candle, as small as it is, is going to cause a change in this environment, okay? It was going to cause a change in this place that, in this room that it is in. Okay, so self-doubt for this candle means the candle looking at itself as, and saying, oh, I'm too black. Why am I small? Why is the other one white? Why am I dark? Oh, because I'm dark, maybe I will not be able to illuminate better. Oh, why is it that I only have one strand? Oh, because I have one strand inside me, maybe my light will be, will be dim. Maybe my light will not shine brighter. Oh, look at the other candle. The other candle is big. It even has three strands inside. Oh, look at it. The other candle is from this company. It's from this brand, the biggest brand in this world. Oh, how can I compete? I'm so small. You know? Whether big, whether three strands, whether three lines, the focus is not the body, okay? The focus is on the scent, the aroma <laughs> that, that comes from the candle, if it's a scented candle, <laughs> right? The scent, the aroma, the, the, you know, the way it changes the scent in the air, <laughs> or the lights it brings, the, the vibes it brings, the cozy vibes it brings, if you're using it for a dinner setting or whatever, or the light it just shines if you're using it just for light. You know, if you're in Africa, you know what we use candles for. <laughs> you know, when you put even a small candle in a room, it, it lights up the place and everything is just, no matter how small it lights is, it's just going to change the vibes in a room, right? Because it has heat, it has power, it carries power, no matter how small it is, right? So that's exactly what I'm trying to say here so shift your focus away from the body away from the 
packaging of um, from the candle shift your focus away from yourself okay and focus on the bigger picture what you are going to the impact the value you're going to bring the solution you are going to provide to that problem okay so if you're going for a job interview and you're scared you are nervous focus on the salary that comes when you get the job <laughs> focus on the money you will make if you're scared of starting a youtube channel if you're scared of launching that business if you're scared of going taking the step you know maximizing your potentials doing expanding your own asset focusing on growing yourself if you're scared of anything concerning that focus on the value focus on the joy that comes with you stretching focus on the knowledge the new um things you're going to learn along the way okay instead of focusing on yourself focusing on your package and the thing is that you are a can you carry so much power it's just that you doubt yourself okay and for some of us it's easy for us to just remove our hand away from the candle and for some of us it takes time so that is why this video is actually very useful for anyone who feels like it's a struggle to remove your hand from the candle, okay? And, um, yeah, those are the four tips. I think I've shared four tips. Those are the things that has helped me, that keeps helping me. And I'm looking forward to reading um, the comments and learning from you as well. So please drop your comments in the comment section. And again, if you are yet to give this video a thumbs up, please don't forget to do so because it helps my videos to reach a lot more people. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're also, if you're yet to subscribe as well, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you get an alert whenever I post a new video. I'd really appreciate that as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for spending your time with me once again. I appreciate you all and I love you guys. You are amazing. Okay. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And don't forget to remove your hand from that candle. Okay. Remove your hand from the candle and go do it. You are capable. All right. So see you in my next video. Bye.